Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Aquarius, my beautiful Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for the rest of the month. This is like your mid-month uh, check-in for November. Let's see what's going on uh, with you guys. Let's see what your current energy is, um, the person, people, situations surrounding you or that you may be dealing with for the rest of the month. Uh, the overall outcome of those situations, any challenges that may um, you may be facing, any um, words of advice, positive affirmations, any other messages that need to come through for you, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you for the rest of November, Aquarius. Let's see. Where are we? course if you um enjoy the reading don't forget to like and subscribe i really really appreciate it just pull a couple more here for the main spread Ooh, okay i'm gonna get just a couple more from other decks here, Aquarius, and then we will get right into it. Oops, we had a couple fly out here. Let's see what we've got. We have three of water, which is the three of cups again. So we have that as a repeating uh, message here. And we have the world. Let's get one more. We have new moon in Cancer, relax. Okay, I can tell you why that has uh, come out here, <laughs> Aquarius. I think that's a sort of uh, bit of advice for you guys because I don't know, I'm really sensing that you are very, very busy. <laughs> um, you're feeling probably a little bit overworked. Um, you're feeling like there's just a lot going on and it's tricky to balance it all. It's like tricky to balance work, commitments, things that you are responsible for with things like your social life, friends, family. It's becoming a little bit of a challenge to balance it all, to give everything the appropriate time that it deserves because you're just so busy. Now, it could be that you're having a very, very uh, busy period at work, like maybe things are ramping up um, and it's just feeling like perhaps you've taken on a little bit too much. But I think you're also trying to take time where you can to just let off some steam, catch up with friends. You may be getting some messages from friends that you haven't potentially seen in a while as well or met up with in a, in a long time. So people are wanting to potentially reconcile um, or meet up with you if you haven't um, seen them in a long time. So that could be happening as well, which is what you want to do. You don't want to say no, but at the same time, you're, you're struggling to figure out where you're going to fit it all in. So interesting there, We you're very busy. There's a lot going on and I see things ramping up in terms of social events as well energy around you we've got the nine of cups and the two of swords very interesting energy someone around you trying to make a decision with something someone is trying to figure out um, which way to go but they don't have all the information and they're also not really able to get clear so you could be dealing with someone this could be someone who you're in a relationship with for example um, this could be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius this could be um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or there could be a combination of both those two factors in this person's chart. Now, which naturally sort of leads to a little bit of a, a conflict in nature, because I would say that, you know, this is someone who's trying to think very logically, but they may be swayed by their emotions a little bit at the moment as well. So if you're in a relationship with someone, you may be realizing that it's difficult to kind of understand what this person wants. On the one hand, they seem very happy and fulfilled. On the other hand, they seem like they're really, really struggling with making a decision. They're confused. 
They don't have all the information. They could be upset at something else going on that has nothing to do with you as well. They could be having their own issues with, you know, work or, or their family or whatever the case may be. And it's just like they're being pulled between two extremes of being happy, but then at the same time overthinking a situation, not being sure what to do, what decision to make. It's difficult. It's a little bit difficult being this person at the moment. Now, this could be someone you're working with as well. And again, similar kind of thing, like they're, they're happy, but at the same time struggling to make a decision on something. So a bit frustrating. That could be contributing a little bit um, to the burdens that you're feeling, I won't lie, because you can't really get a straight answer from this person because they themselves are, are confused about what's going on. Um, if it has to do with someone you're working with, again, it could be that this person has other issues going on with a family member. It may mean that they have to take a little bit of time away from work, which again, puts more burdens on you and they're just, they're not sure how to best approach that or cope with that or, you know, what they're asking of you is a little bit too much, but they're, they're just, there's maybe no option at the moment. So it's a little bit of a, ch of a challenge there. I am seeing here again, um, a change in sort of cycle and it could be to do with friends. It could be to do with um, your social life. It feels as though one chapter is ending and another one is beginning. And you may be having to make decisions about who you actually spend your time with. And there could be some, you know, friends or certain groups of people that you realize, I just, I can't spend as much time with these people or this particular group or this particular, you know, one or two individuals like I used to because things have moved on. Life has moved on. I'm a different person. I have different priorities. There are different people now. They have different priorities. And I just have to be very selective about where my time goes because I'm so damn busy at the moment. So it could be a situation where you're realizing something has to go. Some, again, group of friends, people, person has to just not take up as much of your time and and it's not about you know potentially having a fight or cutting people out completely but it's just what you need to do for yourself and your own sanity we've got the seven of pentacles here and the ten of swords so i guess what i'm seeing with this aquarius is that you are taking stock at the moment it could be to do with how you earn your income where you um get your pentacles from where you where you you know, spend most of your time working or what you work on. You may be looking at that and thinking, do I keep going or do I potentially um, change this situation in a way that's going to be more beneficial for me? Do I continue investing in this or not? I think what you've been working on has been fairly um, good, has been fairly lucrative, has given you a reasonable amount of money, has helped you, you know, pay your bills and do all that kind of stuff. It's been good. It's It's been good, whatever you're working on. But because it's, again, feeling like a little bit of a burden, feeling like a little bit too much, it's got you questioning. It's got you questioning. And I don't see any, you know, any sudden changes happening, but I am seeing that you are starting to question something that you perhaps didn't question up until this point in time. And you've got, you know, a few seeds of, of doubt have been planted just based on how busy you are. You're like, is this worth it? Is, is Am I actually getting value out of this for my life? Like, is this, even though I'm making money, is it actually worth my time? Similar kind of situation with, again, things like friendship groups or other um, associations or groups of people that you may have responsibilities for. You're kind of thinking, is this worth my time anymore? Do I need to change something about what I do day to day, like my day to day habits, routines, what I actually am responsible for on a day to day basis? Is that something that needs to change because it's potentially not, you know, making me happy or not serving my life anymore? So I think you're having those kinds of thoughts and those sort of um, it's internal at the moment. Like I said, I don't see any major changes happening, but you're just starting to really think about it. Uh, properly. And with the Ten of Swords, it's very interesting. So I'm seeing this actually as someone around you. So I'm seeing someone around you feeling perhaps a little bit hurt by the fact that you are now taking stock, you're taking a step back, you're potentially 
cutting someone out again, not even in a in a bad way or because of a big argument or something, but it's going to feel to another person like, oh my gosh, Aquarius like doesn't have time for me anymore. This is hurtful. There could be someone around you who is potentially having a medical issue or that person who you're dealing with who has family um, issues going on. It could be a family member that is having to have a surgery, for example, or um, has some kind of a, an, an illness or a, or a medical problem. And so they're kind of thinking about that as well. So there's a there's potentially someone around you who's having that sort of medical issue or one of their family members or someone very close to them. Um, but overall, something is, is definitely ending here. We've got two tens, we've got the world, we've got an end of a chapter or potentially multiple chapters. Um, but you're getting to a point where you're also wanting to make or create more time for yourself. And with the new moon in Cancer Relax, this is going to be the start of, I guess, a new way of thinking, new day-to-day -day routines where you actually make more time for yourself. So you're going to feel better. It's going to be healthier. It's going to be, you know, better, not just like physically, but also mentally, psychologically, emotionally. It's time to do things where you can feel a real sense of calm, a real sense that everything's okay. Look at these beautiful um, calm waters here. It's a new moon, so it's the start of something new. It's a new potential chapter that is opening up for you where you're just spending a bit more time doing things that help you feel relaxed, help you feel calm, help you feel tranquil. That's where you're going to get your energy from. You need a little bit more of that in your, in your life at the moment. Let's just pull a couple more um, cards here and see what's going on. We've got the justice energy. So I feel as though the work that you have put in, don't think it's not going unnoticed. It, it, it really is being noticed. And it's being um, like you will eventually be rewarded for that. So don't think that everything you're doing is in vain. I, I think people realize actually how hard you're, you're working. Um, you may... <laughs> You may still decide to cut ties with a situation because of the fact that, you know, again, you've worked too hard. It's too much. It's not worth it. You've decided. Someone may be quite disappointed with your decision to, to do that. I've got more moon energy on this person. So someone around you doesn't, um, again, have all the information, have all the answers. They're a little bit in the dark themselves. There is a little bit of stress and worry on this person's side which is making them a little bit difficult to deal with, I would say. It's not necessarily their fault. They're not doing it on purpose. But because they can't move forward, make a decision, um, or because you're having to take on more for this person, it's becoming a little bit difficult to, to deal with. You're holding on to your money. So you're doing things, you're trying to make those decisions that are going to benefit you financially, which is smart. You need to do that. Um, of course, everyone needs to, to look out for themselves and their own security. So I think you're taking a little bit of a step back and saying, okay, hang on a second. I've done a lot for other people or this other person. Now, let me think about myself. Let me make sure that I'm okay, that I'm stable, that I have the solid foundation beneath me to do what I need to do. And you know what? We've got the nine of cups again now. So it's repeating kind of energy here. Very, very interesting. I feel like this is so close for you. It's like a fine line though. It's like a fine line between feeling amazing about a situation, feeling like your dreams have come true. Like, hey, this is what I wanted, right? This is the situation I, I initially dreamed of or wanted to be in. Why is it feeling like such a burden and hard work now, right? Um, but I feel like this is achievable again. If you look after yourself and just take a little bit of time out to relax, to do the things that make you feel calm, make you feel centered, um, that is going to help you maintain that sense of gratitude because I think actually what you've got going on is quite good. Um, and there's a lot, there's really a lot going for you, Aquarius, at the moment. It's just about remembering not to get into that, into that um, habit or that routine of being too overworked to schedule in time for yourself. Sometimes that's, it's a matter of actually blocking off time and saying, I have made this appointment <laughs> with 
myself <laughs> or for an activity that I really like to do um, in order to make sure that you do it, in order to make sure that you can rest, recharge, relax and get things into a bit of perspective. Because I think, like I said, what you have is something that you are quite grateful for and something that you wanted. It's something that you wished for, that you dreamed of and you have it. You're just realizing how difficult it can be sometimes or how much work it requires. So I guess the advice is schedule in some time for yourself, take some time out to relax, recuperate, recharge, and you will receive um, or you'll be able to tap into a little bit more of that gratitude for, for the situation. Realize that you've actually you got something something good going on here. I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.